Hello everybody, welcome to Friendship Shaving. My name's Mark and I'm very glad to be shaving today with the new Heritage Inspired Gillette Safety Razor. Now there's been a little bit of controversy about this razor already and uh, we'll come on to that a little bit later. <coughs> Excuse me, please, I'm a little bit sore. I'm going to be announcing the winner of the latest giveaway later on in today's video. We'll save that to the end, I think. I really want to show you this razor. So let me tell you what soap and what brush I'm going to be using today. I'm going to be blooming my soap today. I'm going to be using the Gentlemen's Groom Room, Malt and Myrtle. And just going to pop a drop of water on the top of that. I don't often bloom my soaps. It was something I used to do a lot, but I got into a different habit. So I thought I would try it today. While my soap is blooming, I can show you the brush I'm using. It's my uh, Alpha T400. I thought that would go very well with the razor. And as my soap is sitting there, of course, now I can really properly introduce you to the new Gillette safety razor. It comes in a beautiful case. And maybe you can see, if I get the light right, it is embossed with the Gillette logo on the top, signed with King C. Gillette's signature. And uh, I think that's a very nice touch indeed. It's a very attractive leatherette case, very sturdy indeed. If I show you an older case, this is from my Gillette 102A single ring from 1921 through 1929 and you can see the case is not dissimilar so Gillette really have been looking to their past with this case. I'm going to open it up. Now inside you get some instructions which I've put out of the way of the wet of the den. I don't want to get those instructions damaged, but you get some instructions written on a piece of card and you get the razor handle, the razor head and a packet of razor blades in a typical Gillette layout for their old three piece razors. The razor blades in this pack are the Gillette Platinums. Now I don't like those blades so I'm going to be using the Gillette 7 o'clock Super Stainless Blades today. But in here we have the head which is really beautifully finished. The information from Gillette was that the head was made in Germany. Everyone seems to be of the opinion that is that it is a Muller head and uh, it is the same head as the Muller R89 razor and I'd like to thank Randy Wright from Polar Shaving who laid out the two heads side by side and took pictures they are indeed identical, even down to the number four stamped on the inside of the head cap. Now while I've got this in my hand, I'm going to pop in my razor blade, which I have here. Now 
Now a lot of people are dissatisfied. That the razor was outsourced and not produced by Gillette themselves. I think there's a good reason why this has happened and I'll talk about that a little bit later on. But for now let me show you the handle. The handle is made in America and it is a reproduction of a common bar handle and this was very popular on Gillette razors during the 1930s. Starting I think in 1933 there was a razor produced for the World Trade Fair, the Exposition Razor and it had this handle on it. Uh, there was also in 1934 the famed red and black set. They shortened the handle in 1936 to make a tuck away and a Somerset set and a little travel set there. And then in 1940 they made a thin common bar handle for their number 501 um, special set. Excuse me, looking at my notes there, I lost my track slightly. So you can see that the handle and the case is really cemented way back in Gillette's history. I love this handle. It is a heavier handle than the original common bar handle that was produced by Gillette. The slightly heavier handle makes the Muller type head, we'll call it that for the moment, an even better shave. It works, I feel, much the same way that my Muller R106 with its slightly heavier acrylic handle is a better shave than the uh, Muller R89. Now, let me wash my face and uh, lather up and then we can get on with the shave and have a little bit of discussion about the razor. You know, it's good to be here to have a shave. I'm super excited by this razor. It was delayed in sending, it was delayed in being sent to me, but finally it is here, and I really am chuffed to bits. This will be the second time that I have shaved with it. And it really is a phenomenal shave. Now I'm just going to use this drop of water that sat on top of my soap. And really rub that into my face. This is a lovely soap. This is my winter soap. It smells of malt whiskey and almost a eucalyptus type smell, that is the myrtle. And I'm just going to take my brush straight into the top of this wet puck now. Of course the top layer of soap has softened and it makes it very easy for the brush to pick that soap up. I'm just going to work this and I'll load my brush for a few seconds. One of the downsides of doing it this way, and there is no right or wrong way, there's just whichever way you like. But one of the downsides is that the top of the puck gets a little bit messy. But I always wipe that clean after I've finished. Now 
Now I'm going to be very careful today because I've got my lovely case there and I don't want to get it wet. Here we go. Now let's add some water to this. I'm expecting not to have to add quite as much water as usual because of course the soap was wetter. There we are, I think that will do nicely. I'm keen to get cracking with my shape. So here we are, the Gillette Heritage Inspired Razor. First time on video. It is a lovely weight and size. The handle is three inches long. It's got a little bit of weight to it, more than you would imagine. It is in total the razor comes in at 60 or 61 grams on my analog kitchen scales. The head, as we know those of us that have a Muller R89 head is great but it goes really exceptionally well with this handle and I think this could easily be my go-to razor. Now I think we've seen a couple of retrograde steps over the last year or so from Gillette. They bought out the skin guard cartridge razor which is a two blade cartridge for sensitive skin and really in doing that they've sort of reversed their previous marketing that more is better and then following on from the skin guard cartridge is a safety razor from Gillette. Now I never thought that I would see a new safety razor from Gillette. I think Gillette are looking and considering
a different way of doing things or another way of doing things. That's more likely, isn't it? I can understand that people are disappointed that the head was outsourced. Now, it doesn't bother me um, because I think it's entirely understandable to bring to market a brand new Gillette production razor would have required setting up a new plant, some new modern machinery and some machinists and that would have cost a great deal of money for a razor they weren't sure would sell quite yet so I believe that's the reason why they've outsourced the head but in doing so they've gone with Moolah a company with 30 years experience of excellence the fit and finish on this razor is absolutely excellent it really is so those are my thoughts on why we've got a head not made by Gillette I do believe personally that if this razor sells well and it appears to have done that we will see a full Gillette production razor perhaps by next Christmas who knows but I think we will get there I do hope so but here's a thought as well this was put forward by a gentleman in a discussion on a friendship shaving a Facebook group the second-hand market for Gillette's is really really good if you're gonna buy a Gillette Slim there for example they're typically in very good condition because they were so well made they're not expensive so for Gillette to produce a new version of the Slim it would be very difficult for them to make money on that I, th I think that's true um, so it's an interesting thought that if we do get a Gillette made razor to the market it might not be a reproduction of one of their best sellers I suppose they could reproduce a very rare razor That would be something, wouldn't it? Do you like have a history, you know, if you look back on their advertisements, they have a history of producing new razors in and around Christmas time. And if you think about that, that's what they've done this time. They've bought this out in a lead up to Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatever holiday you celebrate around this time of year. So once again that's uh, another little nod back to their, their past and their history uh, I think it's quite clever which is why I think maybe if we we'll see a Gillette razor it'll be around this time next year.
There we are, that's my second pass, it's going well. Now I'd just like to do a little comparison. Seeing as we think the head is made by Muller. I thought I'd do a little comparison between this razor and the Muller R89. Now here, as if by magic, is a Muller R89. It costs £40 delivered to my door, so that's £34 for the razor, £2.50 for a pack of blades and £3.50 for postage. So £40 in total and it comes in a cardboard box. Now for £36.50 I've got this razor with a much more stylish handle in my opinion and a beautiful display case. So to my mind the Gillette Heritage inspired razor, I think we'll just call it the Gillette Heritage, it's a lot less of a mouthful, is better value for money and you certainly get a lot more with that case, that is really really well made. The spring on it is quite strong and if it catches you unawares it's a little bit like Arkwright's till if uh, you understand the reference. Now here we go against the grain. And there we are, that is, that is my shave. It's a great shave. You can bet your life I'll be taking this apart and cleaning it really, really well. But I'm going to start now, I'm just going to give it a wipe. I think this is a lovely, lovely razor. I think it's good value for money. It would make a great Christmas present and the reason I like it so much is the weight and feel is fantastic but because of the head it will suit a beginner or a more experienced shaver. I think it's a great product. I understand if you don't think that. I understand if you're a little disappointed by it. I'm not trying to change your mind, but I like this one. And uh, there we go. It is what it is. Now, I'll just rinse off a little bit. And we'll announce the winner of the giveaway. Oh, what a good shot. 
shape. Oh, brilliant. Now I can feel that I've had a really close shave. But of course, because of the head, it's entirely comfortable. It's really nice. So I'm just going to let that sit for a moment before I put on my aftershave. Now, the giveaway was for this little Friendship Shaving Macy shaving brush with the Frank Shaving G4 Synthetic Knot. This is my favourite synthetic knot. I have another Frank Shaving um, brush up there on my shelf with the same knot in it and it is fantastic. So the winner of this brush is Evans the Frame. Congratulations sir on your win. If you get in touch with me I'll put my email below and we can exchange details and I can get that out to you. And thank you for everybody that took part. Don't forget the 12 days of Christmas will be coming starting on the 1st of December. Now I'm going to use some Parasso Green because it goes superbly with this malt and myrtle soap. I really love this soap. It was made for the groom room by the Shetland Soap Company. They are a terrific company. Now that is my shave. Thank you for joining me today and listening to my thoughts on the new Gillette Heritage. I like it very much as you can no doubt tell and uh, I hope you do too. Take care now. I'll see you next time around. All the very best. Bye bye.